can you explain to me why you're okay with a person carrying on a pregnancy after they have been raped or there has been instances of incest? You understand what incest is, correct? You are okay with that? I am okay with preserving the life of the child. The child was not part of that decision. You're recognized for a follow-up. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Are you aware that children, girls ages 11, 12, and 13 have the ability to become pregnant? I am aware. You're recognized for a follow-up. And are you aware that children who are 11, 12, and 13 have been raped and sexually assaulted, usually by a close family member or somebody close to them? Are you not interested in saving that child's life? Yes, there is nothing in this bill about taking that child's life. Representative Munson, you're recognized for a follow-up. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. No, it is in the bill. Because if a young girl is raped by her uncle, she's likely not going to go report to law enforcement. It's highly unlikely that that's going to happen. She is not allowed or able to seek an abortion under your bill, from what I understand, and you are okay with that? I am okay with that, and it is also possible that that child could go on to live a life, that the child could be adopted or not, but the child would have a chance at life. Representative Munson, we're kind of bordering on debate. If we can stick to a question, I'll recognize you for another question on the Senate amendments. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm curious how a 13-year-old child is able to provide and care for a child that they are carrying, or you claim as a child that they are carrying a fetus in their body that has become, that has happened because they were raped by somebody. How is that possible? How is that, how, how do they live a good quality of life? Are you saying that that has never happened? 